45 million Americans sadly live below the poverty line, and 50% of Americans will experience poverty at some point in their lifetime. For the next few minutes, we'll discuss new methods of breaking the cycle and fighting modern-day poverty. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Robert Trainum, and I'm joined today by Patience Peabody. She's Vice President of Communications and Creative for Lyft. Patience, welcome to the program. Thank you so much for having me, Robert. You know, it's so unfortunate that we live, I believe, in one of the most uh, uh, richest, blessed uh, countries on the face of this earth, but we still have, as I mentioned a few moments ago, several million people living at or below the poverty line. And I define that as, as struggling to put food on the table, literally trying to figure out whether I pay this bill or do I pay this bill, because I can't be both. And I'm also trying to put um, a head uh, or something over my head that's, going not, that's not going to leak, if you will. Why is this still the case in this country? Robert, that is the million dollar question. You know, we have a long and storied history with this issue in this country. And it's one, unfortunately, that today elicits glazed eyes more often than not when you talk about it. Um, at Lyft, we believe that all people are the architects of their own future. And we believe too many programs are not um, created and developed with the human experience at the center. So in other words, it's just to kind of keep you in this cycle, if you will. But to your point, which I think is an excellent point, you are the architect, you are the creator, you are Absolutely. the engine that's going to drive you out of this unfortunate situation that you find yourself in. Absolutely. We, as, so, uh, we believe at Lyft that um, all people need the same things to get ahead sure. in life no matter what your income is. We believe, we call those personal, social, and financial foundations. Let me explain what I mean by that. Um, financial foundations are easy, jobs, education, housing. But there are these other two foundations that we focus on that we believe are essential to success. Personal foundations are things like confidence, grit, self-efficacy, agency. Social foundations are things like community connections and professional networks, personal networks, the people who have your back when you experience a problem. A champion. A if champion. You will. Someone if you that's will. got your back to your Absolutely. point. Absolutely. Yeah. And unfortunately, many Americans, a lot of those low income Americans you just referenced, don't have those supports. And it's those that actually, we believe, accelerate economic gains. Patients, what needs to change? Is it our uh, understanding of what poverty looks like? Is it the systems and the processes that you mentioned? Is it uh, raising the awareness of the issue overall or a combination of all of those things? I think it's all of the above. You mentioned the 45 million. Um, there was a statistic that the Urban Institute um, shared that gave me lots of pause. 51% of Americans will experience poverty at some point in their lifetime. And of those that move beyond poverty, half of them will fall back in within five years. What that says to me is that the face of poverty has changed in this country, and it's closer to home than we think. All we have to do if we want to experience the face of poverty at this point is look in the mirror. Patience, we got about 45 seconds left. Some people would say, look, you got to pull yourself up by your bootstraps. You got to save as opposed to buying that car. Maybe it's public transportation. In other words, everyone to a certain degree needs to understand that in order to get ahead, you have to kind of struggle a little bit. I've, I've seen that quote many times. Tell me about Lyft's work and also tell me about the response to that. Absolutely. At Lyft, we pair uh, low income community members with advocates that work with them every, every step of the way. They become those sort of that community, that social network. And that what they do is partner together to work with members on the member set and member led goals. I see. And um, what we do is we help them set the goal, we make, help them make the plan and do the hard work, and we're with them in the passenger seat on the road to that success. It sounds like patience at Lyft is that you are that champion for the person we out there are. who may not have that. Absolutely. Keep up the great work. Really thank appreciate you it. so much. You're more than welcome. And of course, thank you for joining us for this edition of Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Robert Trainum. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.